So uh, welcome back and uh, let's move to the practical exercise. Let me show you this. And for the fifth practical exercise, uh, we will uh, do the match the field to receive across the uh, binary ratio key signal. And uh, if we are similar to the fourth practical exercise, we did the uh, optimal coordinator receiver. And uh, for the fifth uh, practical exercise, we just uh, change the uh, coordinator receiver to the matched filter receiver. And the USC, uh, we will do this uh, match the field receiver for both. Uh, Empty shift shift key, frequency shift key, and the uh, base shift key, both of them. And uh, the task to be solved. Uh, and we need the third practical exercise, uh, uh, some information of them. Then we need plot. Uh, similar to the first uh, practical exercise, we need to plot the received noise signal and uh, matched. Uh, matched signal and we also need to perform the detection and output received uh, uh, data in the command line and uh, compare the result with the original select data vector of the binary data vector and we need to analyze the influence of the noise power signal noise ratio on the uh, accuracy of the detection and let's see the guidance. So the first guidance, we need to do some uh, leap. So as we mentioned uh, for the, uh, yeah, yes, here we need, we, uh, in the convolution uh, formula, flips, uh, uh, even, uh, it already in, uh, flips the impulse response. So for the target signal, we must do it uh, re re reversed. So here we need to flip this part. And, and uh, so how, which signal we, uh, we choose for the uh, impulse response. And uh, you will see here, we choose the carrier signal as, and after mirrored, uh, we can get our uh, impulse response. Uh, so we can use the uh, for the row vector or for the uh, column function. And uh, in our case, I think the Gary signal is the let's see for the um, fourth predictable. And uh, we just go right. And uh, let's see. So the carry signal uh, fragment is the sign. Uh, function and uh, you will see it's uh, just a, a row vector, right? It's uh, only a row vector. And uh, here I think we will use the uh, uh, flip, uh, flip R for the vector row, use this function. And uh, the second step, we need to uh, do some matched building procedure. Uh, and uh, we can do some two operations. Uh, both can achieve by the octave in building the function. We will get the same result. First, uh, we use the filter function. As I mentioned, we can consider the uh, filter as a box and uh, you will do some uh, you get your received data. Here is your received data. 
and do your transfer function. You specifically your transfer function here, and you receive the data, and you will uh, get, uh, uh, put them inside to your affinity impulse response filter, and uh, you will get output. Uh, the matched filter uh, signal. And uh, here we need to mention that uh, we need to notice that uh, the numerator coefficient are the same as uh, the same as the impulse response. And uh, uh, we don't we don't need to specify the, the numerator uh, coefficients. And uh, we just think the denumerator uh, is one. So here we specify the denumerator uh, value here. And alternatively, we can use the convolutional function. As I mentioned, uh, we, do, uh, we can do some convolutional operation. And uh, uh, in our case, we, for the, uh, we can do some like uh, digital, um, digital just uh, uh, multiplication and uh, do the sum, or uh, you have to uh, generate in the NAS. So we have the cut of the uh, the cut of the uh, max the uh, uh, time. So which is a uh, uh, use the convolution function, which can calculate the uh, convolution form to discrete the sequence. And uh, it will produce the longer signal, and uh, we don't need the such long signal, and uh, just purificate uh, the output signal. And uh, the convolution for the digital uh, uh, filter is calculated between the input. We need the uh, Input, input signal and uh, filter, and uh, filter uh, impulse response. And you will see uh, filter impulse uh, response, they are same with the transmission function, right? So, so both of the uh, operation are all uh, possible. And uh, the third step, we need to pick only one uh, method, and uh, the filter signal need the filter signal need to sampled by the the length of the impulse, the length of the uh, impulse uh, uh, response. Uh, which means we have some uh, uh, we uh, this energy levels are uh, convert to the binary symbol. So in the output, we have to uh, read the uh, to read the signal energy levels. So we need to uh, we don't need to uh, know. All of them we have some, we will uh, according to our uh, transmitted binary data, then we uh, read our output uh, signal. And uh, we will use similar for the subplot to draw the uh, modulated signal and uh, the match the filter output. And uh, we can, we have to do some. Uh, Comparison to find out the here you will see how we will find the perform the detection and the comparison and the output the received signal in the command line and uh, we will find uh, which there has a many any mistake and the threshold is different for the different uh, modulation types and uh, what else. Uh, you will see here, this is a matched filter signal. It's quite different with the correlator uh, integration. And 
we need to match the filters for the output signal for uh, in the frequency uh, shift key uh, case. And so that's all. Let's do it together. And we move to the octave. This is previous case. And this is the, uh, the third, the fourth practical exercise for the optical correct receiver. And we just uh, change the, here the location. Match the filter receiver. And uh, we keep the uh, receive the signal here. We just upload it. And here we don't need all down. So the first step is the uh, we need to flip the uh, impulse response. Uh, with the match the filter. So, with the pulse response. And uh, we will use this, this uh, function because we are the raw vector. And therefore, flip uh, with our carrier signal. And we calculate the output of the matched filter. So it offers two options. Uh, two options. And the first one is uh, we do some convolution. Uh, with the uh, impulse response, here is our impulse response. And we uh, receive the uh, signal. With the noise. And we have the uh, alternative method we do. Uh, so we left uh, one step, we have to do uh, did some uh, genucated mass here. Will be the So we have an uh, alternative choice for the filter method.
for the filter. Use the filter option. And for the uh, transmission option. And let's use the uh, and the denumerator number is one and the received the signal. So both of the methods are available and then you will get the same results. And uh, we need to uh, uh, detect the symbols. the symbols and uh, we need to know the uh, the length of the impulse response we can do it in here we know the uh, carrier carrier frequency which is a s carrier signal fragment s0 we need to know the length of the uh, impulse response so there will be seen we just uh, mirror the, uh, the carrier signal however the next will be the same s0 And uh, we will read the certain values of the, the filter output signal. Yes. We have the mass of the uh, uh, And uh, so uh, for each symbol, it uh, will be the uh, mass will be the 200 samples. And uh, we will uh, get the to the, uh, we have 10 symbols. So the, to the end, read. And it will be very certain. And uh, we did some detection. is a detection half energy and we plot the the match the match the build to signal and uh, it will be the first uh, uh, nothing more we need to change it here we can change here the output of the match the field which is s m s1 and uh, here the the threshold does not need to change, and we we'll just change the label, which is the first uh, matched filter receiver. And we compare the output data for comparison. This is the uh, 
the binary data and uh, this is the output data we just further do the conversion and uh, what else i think i must more need to change the, just the right oh we should set the uh, uh set the uh, starting uh the beginning single single loss ratio is a hundred This is 100 case. We have the binary data, binary data without the noise, binary data with the noise. And for the second figure is, for the second figure is the received uh, uh, signal and the first matched field receiver. And the USC here, uh, uh, for the here for the zero and is it is just a zero and uh, for the match field nothing changed here uh, for the one uh, it y is the zero and nothing changed here and uh, the second data is also zero and for the for the uh, the third symbol and uh, you will see here uh, it will increase increase to the maximum point here and we find the uh, hidden button pattern here and if it's uh, greater than the threshold then we consider it as the uh, is true it is the one so for the third, third symbol it is one and for the first symbol you will see here it's also can maintain the such high uh amplitude uh such uh high and uh, it also get the maximum here uh it's a uh, one and for the fifth symbol you will see it will just decreasing at the first, the fifth symbol is around zero and the less than the threshold hold. So it will seem keep going. On. And uh, you will see here it has some uh, uh, negative uh, actions, uh, actions and uh, However, the threshold will not change. It just uh, uh, from the uh, he, uh, zero to the uh, hundred. We uh, because the maximum point we are just a limit at the hundred, and uh, we don't need to consider the uh, minus a negative part here. So this is the idea. And we can just change the uh, multiple different signal to noise ratio. You will change it and compare, and uh, you will analyze the influence of the signal noise ratio on the accuracy of the detecting. And uh, definitely, here we have a hundred. Uh, we have a hundred uh, signal noise ratio. We all know must no error happens here. We just uh, take the half, 50, and you will see the noise is quite small here. And uh, basically, nothing happened here at the received uh, match the filter receiver. Nothing happened, you will see here. Just uh, after again, 25. So for the uh, 
uh, transmitter signal. You will see noise is still quite high here, very obviously. And for the uh, matched field receiver, well, a uh, small noise around here, small noise around here. Basically, nothing happened. Definitely, no errors happen. And we decrease it again. Like, and well, for noise, it's very strong noise in impact on the received signal. And for the call receiver, and the USC here, it still can uh, see that uh, here, maybe some uh, point. We only read the data from the first uh, symbol here. We we'll see officially it can one. You cannot reach to the threshold. And for here, for the third, it can increase. And uh, however, it cannot reach to the higher maximum uh, increase point. Uh, but uh, uh, it's uh, still uh, <laughs> greater than the stretcher hold. And uh, for here, uh, just the same. And uh, we can see any mistake happened. No, no noise, no mistake happened. Just uh, take the part again. Five. And what else? Well, I think mm, you will see here at the third. Maybe noise will happen. We don't know. I ju just to check, check the comparison result. Yes, one error happened here. Oh, no, two error happened here. And uh, oh, you will. You can try multiple. Uh, different single mass ratio and compare the minimal uh, single mass ratio can uh, need it, which can transmit with not any noise. Uh, this is for the aptitude shift gain case, and we just uh, copy this part and move to the uh, frequency shift frequency. Shift the key. And here we need to, we have the, uh, here we have the two frequency for the frequency shift key, right? And we have F1 and F2. And for the uh, for the mass of the uh, impulse response, we only need to one. That's enough. Uh, so we add the mass of the impulse response here. That's how we call it the maze. That's one. Any of them. And we have two frequency, so which means we need to design uh, design the two matched filters. And uh, this time we will use the uh, filter. Uh, we will check change it here. Frequency. Which is the frequency signal with the noise. And uh, uh, we need the two impulse response, which is the HS1 and HS2.
and the other field tree, and we need to uh, two. Mm. Here we need to output to match the filter. SM1, SM2. Here. Change. We have two. And uh, the annulate hence also for the BFSK. And uh, here we need also both of them. However, we just to comment here, we hope you, we change to use the filter mass uh, method. And for the filter method, we just line uh, here. So one. And for the detector symbols, just the uh, Copy here. Two. And there will be the EX1 and detect the sim uh, yes, of signal. So we just compare the, the detect the symbols. We'll just uh, compare this to uh, energy of the signal with the EX1. Then yes to look great then yes to do. So if it it is true, then it is one. Then if it's not true, it's just zero. And we need to plot the two few uh, to filter the first match the filter signal and the second the Change the here to frequency. That's it. That's one. And we we don't need we don't need to we we don't need the threshold hold. So just a delete. And this is first the batch, the filter receiver. And for here, the SMF2, delete the special hold here. And uh, this is the second batch, the filter receiver. And uh, what else need to notice here? Oh, here, plot, we have two, so we need three pictures here. We want three. And uh, change the here is also 311. What else to uh, yes one is two. Basically, it's uh, 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 change to the signal ratio to the uh, original six hundred. So that's fine. And 
just take six this up. Oh, here I haven't. Yes, let's see the plot. And the two different frequency. Uh, here. Yes, I see. Let me check the here. I do. Ah, here. In my case, I changed here, but uh, you, the frequency index, uh, I just uh, changed here. For you, you have the specific the frequency index, and uh, you should uh, follow the uh, the cost project. Uh, uh, your individual parameters here. I also followed here. Now we can see the uh, with and without any noise. Uh, and for the here. Sorry. Yes, here, and you will see here also though. It looks like a uh, little bit uh, influenced by the the, the uh, frequency index, but it's okay. Uh, it's also clear, and you will see here. So this is the first match the filter receiver and second match the receiver. And the law is the if the first one is greater than the second one, we consider it as the one. However, we can see here the first symbol, and for the first one is the zero. It's the uh, uh, zero, and for the second, it's a uh, hundred. So it is uh, not true. So uh, it will be the zero. And if the second uh, second symbol. It's also not true. Zero one, uh, zero hundred. So it's uh, not uh, the first match the field receiver is the small than the second match the field receiver. So it's not true. It's uh, zero. And for the third one, and it's greater than here, we have maximum point, and this is zero. So that is true. Uh, so uh, for the received signal, this will be the one. So here we have see the uh, uh, zero zero uh, one one, and for here, for the fifth, it's also the zero, and for the six, it's one, and so on. So that is the uh, difference with the amplitude shift key, and now we will change the single to noise ratio, like uh, 50, 50. And you will see a lot of noise here. However, it's still here. Right, basically it's uh, still very clear well, in the different point, uh, different symbols, uh, which one is great is uh, big, has a big uh, result, energy. Uh, which one, uh, which color uh, matched field receiver has the uh, greater uh, energy? 
and the USC here. The command line and uh, no errors happened, just uh, like. and uh, lots of noise here. And uh, here, all the, here. And I think uh, it's still uh, quite similar, how very hard to do the uh, decision. Let's see the, Result and any similar mistake, and we can see uh, it has a ten percent, like around the we have we transmit to the ten same binary data symbols, and the one mistake around ten percent errors rate. So we can try to different uh, simplice ratio, find out the minimal. Uh, the single to noise ratio required for without any noise happen. So this for the uh, binary frequency case, shift case, and we can move, which we still copy this part to the to the uh, phase phase uh, shift key. And uh, here for the base, you can change it. Will be the L. of the impulse response. And we just, uh, for the frequency, uh, for the phase shift key, we, we convert is one to the, and that data with the one to the uh, minus one and the zero to the plus one, right? And uh, here, uh, what else we can uh, change the here? Uh, use the conversion and with the base receive change the receive signal with no noise. And uh, here, the threshold hold we need to uh, change which is uh, less than the zero, right? So we have different threshold and a different uh, 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 detection. Uh, for the, yeah. what else need to change the here? threshold is zero. And uh, for the dot, and we convert to back to the original uh, ratio is 100. That's right. Any mistake? No mistake happens here. Yes, here this is the binary data, and uh, this is the uh, uh, modulated signal without noise, and uh, this is the modulated uh, signal with noise, and uh, this is the received uh, signal. This is the received signal, and uh, this is a matched field receiver. And uh, you will see here, uh, uh, if the uh, the increased here is uh, greater than 
the threshold. So it will be the one. However, we convert one uh, to uh, uh, for the uh, for the threshold, we think if it is less than the threshold zero, and it will be the one. However, here we are greater than the threshold, so it will be the zero. We just convert the, uh, the, the detect, we just convert, and uh, will be the, uh, you will see here, one, one, and will be the zero. Uh, no, here is zero, zero, and and for the third, it also will be the uh, one. Uh, six. Y yes, it also will be the zero, and. Uh, here for the fifth will be right. Any mistake here? Four, six, one. Hey, oh. No mistake here. So we think that is the correct. If it was uh, small than zero, uh, it will be the one. Let's check, change the synchronized ratio. And uh, we can see here for well, the first one is the with uh, here uh, zero and the second is the zero and the third is the one first is the zero and uh, for the fifth is one and the sixth is uh, zero. I think there is no mistake here. Yes, there is a mistake. And you can try uh, multiple different signal noise ratio to get your uh, result for the noise immunity. How does we are influence on the uh, for the accuracy of the detection? So this part will of the for the uh, practical exercise fifth practical and the next uh, uh, we have one more course for the course project uh, task six and uh, let's take uh, 20 minutes uh, break and uh, we can come back at uh, 10 40. okay so thank you and see you again see you soon